Now, I know I said this was going to be a 100% Baltimore Ravens channel, but things change, especially when we're talking about former Super Bowl MVP quarterbacks, Joseph Vincent Flacco. Because the Browns, a couple of days ago, they worked out Joe Flacco. And it was, apparently it was a good workout, but it wasn't good enough to sign him. But then Ian Rappaport said something that was very interesting. He said, well... It's not that the workout was bad. It went good. And the reason I didn't sign him is because he just wouldn't be in their plans this weekend. It would be too short notice. So you don't want to have to pay somebody if you're not going to play that somebody, especially at the quarterback position. So the Browns, they waited. And you, you know what makes this signing even worse? Like for the Browns, what, what it really says about the Browns right now. It says that despite them winning, on a last second field goal, man, I was rooting for the tie. I was hoping for the tie, and I almost got exactly what I wanted. Almost got it. But even though the Browns won today, they realized, like, man, our offense, our QB play was so bad. It was so bad today that we're still going to sign a quarterback. So they signed Joe Flacco today. It's official. Joe Flacco is a Cleveland Brown. Look at our guy. Look at our guy, Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco, and it's crazy. Who would have ever thought that Joe Flacco would be on his, what is this, his fourth team, I believe? And he stayed in the AFC. Joe Flacco said, I don't want no part of the NFC. No thanks. Because Joe Flacco went to, obviously, the Ravens. Then he got traded to the Broncos. And then he went to the Jets and the Browns. Am I missing anybody? I think I think this is it. I think that's 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 the four that he done played for. But now Joe Flacco, and you, you got to expect that even though he's on a practice squad, they'll probably use a couple of call-ups for him and then add him to the active roster because Joe Flacco, that, that's going to be that guy. Like, think of, like, Dory, DTR? No. P.J. Walker? No. Because the Browns have tried both of those experiments, and, and I think P.J. Walker's had a little bit more success than DTR, but still, No. It's not enough, not good enough. So you got to go to somebody who you know personally, personally, from personal experience, knows how to get the job done in Cleveland. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, I, I ain't mad at this sign at all, man. It's actually really exciting to see how Joe Flacco is going to look. Because this, I mean, it's getting close to the end of the road for Flack. It, it's, it's getting there. Um, but Flacco said, hey, I got one more in me, baby. I got one more in me. So I'm excited to see how he does, seriously, with the Cleveland Browns. Um, now, with Joe Flacco, he got some other former Ravens uh, on the squad. He never played with them before. Uh, like James Prochet, <laughs> Kenyon Drake. Remember Kenyon Drake? Hey, what are they, walk in your draft, take over your draft, get that Kenyon Drake. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so this, this should be very interesting to see how – he fits in with the Cleveland Browns. I'm sure a lot of Cleveland Browns fans are going to be like, Whoo. it's one of those things where if we couldn't beat him, he joined us, though. Because uh, Joe Flacco, over the years, he had had the Cleveland Browns number for the, for the most part. Um, but, yeah. So, very interesting news. Breaking news. Uh, Flacco is headed to Cleveland. Now, uh, the Ravens and Browns, they've already had their two games this season. But... There is a possibility, depending on how things shake out, depending on how the rest of the season plays out, that these two teams could see each other in the playoffs. Is it likely? Is it not likely? I don't know, but it's a real possibility.